Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have a fun video which is all about who is coming next in love, you know, what's the next person coming, trying to get into a relationship with you. Of course, it depends what you want as well. Maybe it's the next trying to come back, maybe someone new. We're trying to get into the energies here and I'm going to use many different decks to give you characteristics so you can recognize this person if they're already there or when they come and also some charms here for more information. As always, if you're new, I hope you consider subscribing. I have over a thousand videos in this channel that can help you out with your love life, prosperity, your spirituality, and I do live readings as well. I do have a Patreon account when you can have early access to my content. We have Patreons only lives as well, and we have a lot of fun with that. So check all my links if you want to have private readings. If you want to have my own decks I have created as well, tarot decks, oracle decks, all the links are there. Today we have three options. Group one with this beautiful image here, group two and group three. Whichever image calls your attention first, or maybe it's the number, is most likely the right one. But of course you can watch the full video, especially in videos like this, to see if maybe you recognize the person. Maybe you don't recognize from pile one, but you will from pile two or pile three. Check which one resonates the most for you. So as always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be in the description below. Again guys, group one, two and three, Timestamp will be below. Thanks for watching. Hi, group one. If you choose this beautiful image here, and we have a message on the other side. So we'll start with the message playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. You see here, playfulness, bringing more fun into your life. So maybe the person coming here, coming back, or coming new. It's going to bring more playfulness, more energy of even healing here with this fun that you guys will have together. So interesting here, we're going to start with the tarot. But it really feels like this person bringing fun into your life, bringing lighter energies. Who is coming here? Is it someone that you already know? We do have the word. So it could be someone that... Uh, you know, has traveled or, you know, even someone that's not exactly from where you are. This energy of the world here, completing phases in their lives. It's a new cycle. So it really feels like this person bringing a new cycle here for you in their lives as well. So a new opportunity here. So it could be someone traveling or who has traveled or even not exactly from your area. Four of Swords. It really feels like someone that is not going to rush into anything. They can really take time here to get to know you, take time to build the foundations of communication, trust as well, even if they're trying to come back, right? So maybe someone back, someone new, take what's resonating. But I do feel like someone that's going to be trying to avoid the mistakes of the past, whether those mistakes were made with you or another connection, it really feels like someone that is trying to avoid the issues here that happened in the past, learn and build foundations for a better connection. Also the devil, this is Capricorn energy, can be workaholic as well, can be someone that sometimes gets stuck into, you know, some codependency energies as well. But I feel like someone that really is uh, straightforward when it comes to work and foundations, earth energies, very important for them to uh, really have this energy that is uh, really being able to provide or being there for you. So this energies of work is important for them as well. Okay, so we do have the Knight of Cups here. So water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And I feel like someone who wants to open their heart with you. Especially if they come with the playfulness of this card here as well. As much as they have like a serious side of them when it comes to maybe career finances. I feel like they are learning with the past. They are learning with other things that happen in their lives. And I feel like they wanted to take time here to have fun, to get to know you. And open their hearts here as well. So it really feels like they're going to be... Really sharing their feelings, in love with you. Ten of Swords, you see here? They had some hard times. Maybe both of you, but definitely from their side, they close a hard chapter here. And it could be because of the word card here as well. Someone closing their chapter with, uh, you know, karmic connections, difficult connections, really learning a lesson. So that's why they don't rush into anything as well, getting to know you, but they have an open heart. I feel like this is someone that is not allowing whatever happened in their past to define the future connection. I feel like they are learning to be able to uh, evolve and grow. But I do feel like someone who believes in love. That's how my guides are saying. They want a relationship. You see, it's strength. So Leo energy is here. And someone learning, evolving, growing, becoming stronger. And it can be through challenges as well. Again, this Ten of Swords can be where 
they're coming from or difficult times here as well so it really feels like becoming stronger a strong person courageous and it could be because it's not because it's always easy but because they're learning and there's a lot of evolving here so someone that could have been becoming wiser especially after difficult times you see two of coins i really feel like someone who's busy as well when it comes to career finances other areas of their life they try to balance different things going on and it feels like they wanted to be sure that they have you know work hard but play hard as well being able to balance different areas of their lives i feel like they give 100 percent whenever they are when it is to work when it is in a relationship and it could be why they you know have these uh, difficult times here as well but learning evolving in balancing everything anything else you know about this person high priestess it can be a little bit of a um, uh, secret admire energy here holding a little bit back their feelings just the beginning remember they wanted to build the foundations here to get to know you to be sure that you trust them you can trust them and they can trust you as well so for some of you I'm going to get more details about the zodiac signs, initials. If you already know this, is maybe an ex for some of you trying to come back or someone that maybe hurt you or you didn't have a chance really to take it into a connection and trying to come back. But I feel like they're coming lighter than they were before. They still have their serious side and things that they really wanted to do. But I do feel like this is someone that is coming with open heart here. For some of you, really someone you already know. I wanted to just clarify a couple of cards here so we understand here what's going on i definitely wanted to clarify the devil energy king of wands okay fire energy here as well aries leo sagittarius so i feel like that um, the clarifying the devil with the king of wands i really feel like that authority that focus when it comes to focus on career finances the things they wanted to do the workaholic energy of the capricorn as well with the devil they can you know really focus in one thing one area so this is someone that i feel like they are leader on their field as well when it comes to what they wanted to develop or where they already are when it comes to career so that fire that passion when it comes to what they wanted to do wanted to clarify the knight of cups more about their personality you see they wanted that family okay they wanted a relationship this like i said before this is someone that believes in love even if they have been through a hard connection karma connection heartbreaks it really feels like they are not giving up here they believe you know in a relationship that's what they want that it's the goal here and it really feels like someone that is trusting that it's going to happen for them, even if they are coming from hard times. I wanted to clarify the Ten of Swords here. Anything happening for them? Yes, you see here, it's coming out here. It's the Four of Pentacles, which is really some insecurities when it comes to the past as well, because obviously they were still holding back to some issues of the past. They're trying to learn, evolve, and grow with everything. But of course, you know, you know where you're coming from as well. And they have to deal with some insecurities of, you know, the past hurts as well. So closing that chapter, hoping for this new cycle here. And I wanted to clarify the high priestess. This high priestess, you know, they have their intuition, very intuitive person, but sometimes they hide as well. Is this a secret admirer? Six of Wands. I feel like it's someone that is going to take their time here to like i said get to know you build foundations make sure you trust each other and that, that victory so there is a celebration there's a reward but it's after working hard putting effort on the relationship so that's why i feel like it's a secret admirer a little bit or just holding back not sharing exactly straight away because they wanted to take time here make sure you trust them as well i wanted to get more into their characteristics to see if you recognize this person if they are already there or when they come into your life here just a couple of cards from this one anyway we have the alchemist and this is the energy of transforming of base motives and goals into golden wisdom it really is the energy again of someone who's trying to uh, learn you know become wiser especially with you know hard times as well and uh, from the past uh, experiences as well trying to turn things into gold and wisdom and the fool you see here fearlessly revealing emotion helping people laugh and at absurdity and hypocrisy it's funny because we do have uh, the card here with uh, the playfulness so i feel like this person has that playful side even if normally people see them as serious in the beginning you know with that serious maybe king of wands or 
you know, the Capricorn energy of the devil. I really feel like they have this side that's very fun of them and they wanted to bring that more out. And maybe that's something that they held back in previous connections and it feels like they wanted to open more their heart here when it comes to you to having a chance with you if you give them a chance. Child orphan as well, which is independence based on learning to go to go it alone, conquering fears of surviving. And this could be, you know, from growing up or from previous connections, having to do things by themselves, really having to focus. And that's why I feel like it's a lot that focus of the King of Wands when it comes to career finances as well, what they want, because it, it helped them to become stronger, but they had to do many things by themselves, really growing up here early and describe as well, pres uh, preserving uh, knowledge and information. This could be something to do with their work, you know, maybe, maybe they write, maybe they teach in some way, you know, preserve information. So something to do with writing, maybe is a hobby for them as well, something important for them. Or maybe they wanted to write a book or write a blog or, you know, something like that, even if it's internet or, or online. I feel like it's someone that's very knowledgeable as well. And they have something to share to help others too. And I wanted to get into a couple of details here about maybe zodiac signs or characteristics so you recognize this person so they're coming to like they wanted to try here neptune dream and transcend so a dreamer here i feel like someone again transcending learning evolving with everything so it really feels like someone that is has dreams have the focus of the ten of cups it really feels like they want a connection here it depends on you giving them a chance as well because you know they take a little bit of time uranus as well uh, radically change you see here and it could be with that word energy the ten of swords as well closing chapters a quick change that happened in their lives maybe they had to really realize whatever was not serving them anymore and evolve grow with everything so really a transformation here for in this person's life mercury as well think learn network and communicate and again here describe you see here someone who communicates well that's what i was saying about um, you know, being a scribe or share knowledge in some way, very knowledgeable, very intelligent. And this Mercury energy, which is really communication here. And anything else here? We do have uh, Kira, which is heart and heal. And again, here, Ten of Swords, the word new beginnings. You see, this person that could have gone through some hard times and having to heal here after you know, difficult connections and even growing up energies as well. So really learning, evolving with everything. So someone that uh, has a lot of, of things to share with you when it comes to where they're coming from as well. This card here is like any focus, any unit is going on with the connection. Realign. I feel like it's aligning. For some of you, like I was saying, this is an ex realigning or someone trying to come back into your life, even if it was an ex-friend or someone that was in your life for for some time here trying to align because maybe this is the time here to connect with you after some time in separation after some time healing or resolving things or closing chapters so for some of you it really is someone that you already know divine masculine okay so they feel like they it feels like um counterpart for some of you to inflame soulmates so it feels like uh you know, they have to deal or they had to deal with this divine masculine side of them. You know, male or female, we do have the divine masculine and feminine. And it could be on taking back the power, taking action on something that was not serving, closing chapters. It really feels that way. Also trigger, you see here? Because they still have the triggers of the past. My guides are saying they're not going to rush into coming back into a relationship straight away or starting a new connection after closing chapters of the past because they still have triggers. They still have, uh, remember the Ten of Swords was with the insecurities of the Four of, of uh, Pentacles as well as, clarif as clarifiers. So it really feels like there's still triggers. There's still things that they hide a little bit. That's why I feel like Secret Admire Energy, they wanted to have a connection with you. They are interested in you. They want to take that chance and manifest here. They want to open the heart, but it's still the high priestess, a bit of a secret energy here as well. They could be still healing. It's a little bit of a battle, but then it's a victory and reward. You see with the six of wands. And the friends, you see? That's what they said about being friends first. So it really feels like they are going to take their time. You see, it's the four of swords energy, creating the basis on the friendship or the friendship side of the connection, trusting each other, being able to help each other. And it really feels like it's a positive thing. It's just uh, to not rush, to not make the same mistakes and maybe afraid of jumping in too fast. I wanted to get some charms as well to make sure we know more details about this person. I'm using my charms more often here if you have not seen. So we can get zodiac signs initials as well. So we do have uh, 
So Virgo and Taurus uh, here. Okay, so bring this close to you here. So just bring it a little bit close to you. So we do have some letters. Okay, so I initials, nicknames, it could be even your initials coming here too. L I A H. And we do have, you see the heartbreak? So there was a heartbreak, the Ten of Swords. Number four, important for you guys, maybe when you meet, 24 as well, and 21. So it could be birthdays, when you meet. I really see like it's a rainbow after the storm. 15 as well, 4, 15, 21, 24. We do have the sun here. So it really feels like that positive energy. And it could be after the hard times. You see here with the moon, healing energies. And this is like karmic connections as well, closing karma. There's a lot of feelings, emotions here. But it really feels like they wanted to have like a home as well and be able to settle and have foundations. This is important for them. Some of them will be in touch with you through social media. And they really have that fun side of them here as well. Be able to maybe invite you to do fun things and just build that connection deep here. And it really feels like roots are important for them. They do want that Ten of Cups. They do want that family, the reunion, the connection or the dream life together. But it really is a rainbow after the storm. You see the Six of Wands energy. You no know, victory rewards after the hard times, after, you know, the battles as well. But we do have the sun here telling you, again, this person bringing happiness to your life, bringing positivity, fun as well. They have really the fun side here of them. Cupid is striking here, no doubt, after closing chapters. This is really a new cycle for you guys. So let me know if you recognize this person. <laughs> Interesting, it is. While I was mix mixing here, it was changed to Cancer Science as well. So maybe for some of you. So take what's resonating. Leave the rest behind. Have fun as well. Let me know if you recognize a person or if you just uh, prepare yourself to recognize when they come into your life. So that's what I have here for your group one. I hope this helps and resonates. Leave me a comment. Let me know if it does. If you want an extension of this reading or any other question, my link is below for private readings as well for my Etsy shops. The crystals is in front of you. My own decks I have created and many others. All the links are there. If you're new, consider subscribing, like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching. Hi, group two. If you chose this beautiful card here, we start with the tarot, but there is a message here behind this one, which is when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. You see here, some of you could be trying to understand, do you give a chance to someone else? Do you wait for someone or do you open your heart for a new connection, a new person as well? So who's coming here for you? No matter, it comes no matter of the heart. There's no right or wrong. You're learning, evolving with everything. But who is coming here for group two? Page of coins. Many times, you know, with the page of coins, someone comes slowly as friends, a friendly energy, a positive energy, good news coming. Earth energies. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Coming your way. Early days. It really feels like new. Eight of cups. You see here? You could be deciding. You see here your decision? Walking away from someone, from something from the past, or healing, really getting into the light. You see here, after hard times, but really trusting your intuition. So trust how you feel, because some of you could be trying to decide that you wait for that person. Do you wait for them forever, you know? And uh, it's hard, you know, to be waiting. And uh, trust your intuition if you want to allow your heart here for new, because this feels like new. And I always say about releasing, I say this on my lives, I say this all the time, and I'll keep repeating because some of you need to hear this. When you release, when you trust the divine time, if it's meant to be, you will come back on the right moment. Trust release is not giving up, but trust in the universe. If it's not meant to be, then they are not there energetically, holding you to manifest the right person. Because energetically, you could be stuck just waiting for someone. And the guys just say, trust your heart if you need to walk away, even if it's hard, even if it's a twin flame, even if it's a soulmate. Twin flames come many times to help us to learn the lessons. It's not because you're always going to be together romantically. Twin flames will always choose the, the um, soul evolution over romanticism, you know, over any other thing. Because romantic energy is just, uh, you know, uh, it's 
it's something that's going to pass anyway and it's on a lifetime that they can be connected again on the next you know so when we see from the higher perspective that this lifetime is just a tiny blink you know you know you can connect again the next one but if you can learn a lesson in this one the twin flames will choose the lesson and sometimes that lesson is not being together you know it's actually the hard lesson of spending time with the karmic queen of wands this is really someone that is going to be really finding you very beautiful very attractive very fiery and i feel like you, you're going to be on your power here it's going to be your choice it's on your hands if you want to discuss it in your life you see page of swords really new energies getting to know someone and five of coins many times we are afraid look at this to give someone a chance when they are right there you see here right there someone is standing your hand trying to come to you trying to help you trying to be there around you trying to get into a relationship with you but maybe you are stuck in past connections or even just hurting need of healing think what's resonating i really feel like page and page it really is an energy of new getting to know someone new but it depends of you maybe having to let go of the past to allow this new energy coming your way even if you feel like you're gonna go back to that past you know, like I say again, don't leave the energy. Hold you back. So allow the universe to take care as well. I'll go with the flow. Four of Wands, a lot of synchronicity signs. This is really a connection that can become more serious into commitment as well. A lot of synchronicities. Pay attention. When you meet this person, or if you have just met them, it's new. But it's going to be a lot of synchronicity signs, lucid dreams, repeated numbers, animals, things that make sense only to you. So pay attention. Because it comes really with this energy here. Also, Knight of Wands. You see here, that fire is there. I feel like someone who's going to fight for what they want as well. Not giving up on you easily. They're going to be there helping you as well if you need help. But they wanted to take time to get to know you. They wanted to talk to you. They wanted to see if you... My guide is saying it's if you notice them. That's how it feels. Because maybe your mind or your heart is somewhere else. And they're trying to call your attention. See here? But you're not looking but pay attention this person is right there either you have already met or are you about to meet this person but it's new okay it's a new energy but some of you have to decide if you allow them in your life because of someone else knight of coins you see here the energy moving from page to night from page to night so they do want a chance they're not gonna push you and annoy you but they're not giving up they are gonna take the time they're very patient here and they wanted to be with you. I wanted to get extra cards here to just clarify some cards. But I really feel like this is a new energy. And it depends on you. It's going to be on your hands. It's your choice here. You're coming with this powerful energy to make a decision. And sometimes that decision is not easy. Because you have to allow healing. You have to allow someone else to go. But trust how you feel as well. It really feels like new in this case. I wanted to clarify the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups energy for group two. The sun. You see here? If you walk through this door, look at that light. Look at the sun coming away. It's happiness, okay? So it may be harder to make a decision, but they get to say, if you trust your heart, you know, this is the right path for you because it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, blessings, clarity on your mind. Why it wasn't meant to be with someone else or why it didn't work out in the past or why you had to heal or why you had to go to so many heartbreaks or karmic ties or difficult connections. I wanted to clarify the page of swords it's still new because the page yeah i see here someone with patience see patient stillness not rushing i feel like they are trying to make you see them from a different perspective because maybe you see them as friends first or someone that you wouldn't give a chance straight away and they are changing your mind helping you see them from a different perspective i wanted to clarify the five of coins five of coins here group two page of pentacles again here you see here is the page of pentacles trying to come good news venture news you see it's new guys okay so guys it's a new person so it's right there you see it's that page here trying to call your attention no doubt so they get the same many times with the five of coins the person is right there the solution is right there the door is right there we just didn't see yet let's see here with the knight of coins which is a little bit slower the knight of coins the word you see here they come with new cycles new opportunities you complete a phase here of maybe healing or letting go of someone getting ready for a connection this person comes with new cycles in your life it really is the new no doubt here this is not an ex coming back maybe you have to cut away from the ex maybe you have to heal from an ex 
group two if you want the next pack maybe you need to check one of the other bios but because this is new again it's what's coming next it doesn't mean like you have to accept them but that this is who is coming next anyway and i wanted to see here more into maybe some zodiac signs energies for us to understand this person again page energies taurus virgo capricorn fire sign here with the queen of wands maybe it's you as well or their signs coming here and uh, fire Aries Leo Sagittarius, Page of Swords, getting to know you. Um, Air signs, Gemini Libra Quarters. Who's coming here? We do have Venus. Give and receive love, find value, and see beauty. So, no doubt, this is someone with that uh, open heart. Okay. They wanted to give, they wanted to receive love, finding value, see beauty. As I say, they see very beautiful, very attractive. Mars energy as well. Move forward and defend the self. You see, they are, they have that fire side as well. Okay, so you see the Knight of Wands. They're gonna go after the, what they want. They're not gonna push you and annoy you. They're gonna have be, they're gonna have patience. But it really feels like they have that fire passion as well. Sagittarius, you see, the fire energy, optimism, exploration, and freedom. Okay, so really is that person that has that side as well, the fire side as well, the Sagittarius energy and uh, optimism as well. And I feel like they're hopeful. They're hopeful here for this connection. Also, we do have Taurus and it is the earth energy is coming with the page, right? Trust, patience and sensuality. You see the patience, no doubt here and taking one step at a time, trying to show you see me from a different perspective. And I'm going to open a new cycle here for us. It really feels like this person trying to have a chance here but trying to see if you will see them from a different perspective let's get into more characteristics a specific characteristics so you can recognize this person when they come or if they are already there because if they are already there they are new we do have the storyteller ability to get to experience and express life through stories and symbols so really this person that communicates well telling a story everybody's engaging with them is that kind of energy really good storyteller also warrior you see the, the knight of wands uh, energy the fire uh, strength the skill discipline and toughness of will heroism stoicism and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego interesting here conquering the ego as well you see how they are learning to evolve and grow and the conquering the ego as well that's why i feel like they are patient and they have this fire side as well you see the sagittarius the knight of wands but strength is skill it's not like any kind of strength i feel like it's with that skill as well and focus interesting energies also we do have the rebel and challenges authorities to affect social change you see rejects spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs with someone that is very wise as well when it comes to this kind of decision that other people maybe would be influenced by upbringings or whoever's around them this is someone that has their own mind here and they challenge authorities or for social changes they could be believing be or fighting for some causes as well and they're rejecting even spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs okay so if this is just for control this is someone that sees beyond that and they will be challenging that as well again here really strong personality when it comes to like they know what they want as well they're patient but they have learned a lot also the guide is here uh the light attribute here i'm only reading the light attributes okay for this because it's just for you to recognize the personality represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself someone who is a guide for others as well especially when it comes to being someone who is very focused intelligent and uh, helping others they like i say reject uh, systems that do not serve the inner needs so they help social changes as well so they are a guide in some way and this could be even something connected with their work or something that they study or something that they wanted to do with their lives okay uh, the last card before the charms i'm gonna get the charms here to give you more details but i wanted to get this here to give you what's the focus here anything else you, you can understand about this person we do have uh, travel okay so someone who could have been traveling maybe they are not from exactly your area maybe you guys need to travel to see each other or maybe you meet on social media and you travel and you're moving around the word energy is also travel energies so maybe having to travel to be with you or have been traveling in different places learning a lot especially when they have this open mind here and maybe traveling together is something you guys will really do fun things together here 
new beginning no doubt again confirm it over and over page 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 new beginnings it's a new beginning again it's up to you of course this is what's coming next it doesn't mean like you needed to accept what's coming next but this is who's coming next in your life but it depends if you will accept them because it really feels like you have a decision some of you really needed to allow someone else to go first to allow energetically this person to come in and it could be because you're still healing not because you want that person back, but maybe there's still things to allow forgiveness and heal. And you completed that phase. You see completion to allow the new cycle. So trust how you feel as well. We also have happiness. No doubt this person bringing you a lot of happiness, blessings, new beginnings. And it feels like the fresh air in your life, you know, after maybe hard times or hard breaks or difficult person. Really someone different here. Really different. Patient, kind, and messages. And remember I said social media. Did I say social media? If I didn't, I meant to. Social media for some of you. Maybe someone who sends a lot of messages. And you guys get to know each other because they have patience here to get to know you as well. Messages could be a lot of exchange. Especially if they are far as well for some of you. And this energy of get it to know you and allowing the new beginning so i really feel like it's a positive energy coming away group two i know you have to some of you make a decision if you need to let go of someone trust how you feel but i feel like it's a positive energy i wanted to give you some charms as well to give you more information and i know i gave you some zodiac signs already it could be coming your zodiac sign with <laughs> capricorn here twice but let's get another one okay capricorn wants to come and the earth energies virgo and capricorn so let's see here maybe some other details here we can get okay so i'll bring it closer to you so we do have letters and it could be initials and nicknames even your initials could be coming here a v d i dave for some of you <laughs> and um gentle remember here the energy of patient page of pentacles hanged one really someone who's gentle with you especially if they know you have gone through hard breaks or even both of you could have gone through hard breaks and learning the hard way numbers that are important for you guys could be when you meet birthdays many numbers came here for you so we do have 5 16 21 19 and we have, uh, okay, this is just, this is not a number, but it's like work, hard break, ha working hard here. And um, it really feels like, you see, double confirmation on the sun here for you guys. No doubt the sun, the happiness. And the sun came here to confirm to you if you give this person a chance. Foundations, closing, karmic ties, really finding a direction. I really feel like someone is going to keep their eye on you for a while and uh, again social media there is really a transformation if you give them a chance this is really beautiful it can bring a lot of happiness fun as well i feel like if you guys give them a chance this for some of you is when you're reading i'm reading this is already winter time and i feel like this winter time this holiday season is going to be important for you already some of you are already meeting this person doesn't mean like you are in a relationship but you are already meeting getting to know them because remember they're patient here they're waiting for you to choose them as well because you have to make a decision to some of you at least to leave someone and there's a lot of direction there's a lot of signs here guides and i feel like you're gonna feel comfortable with this person double confirmation look at this you have the messages here and you have the messages in the bottle here i know it's a tiny one to charm but you see here the same so messages from this person you're going to be receiving messages you're going to be really maybe exchanging a lot of messages with each other fun and getting to know each other so i really feel like it's positive in that way i feel like it's a positive person coming away but it depends on you giving a chance. And I'm going to read this again for you. Because you, maybe it's for some of you trying to make a decision. Again, when it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So again, focus on your lesson. If you are in need to make a decision to let go of someone or heal from someone. And I really feel like if you open the door, no doubt happiness, new beginnings, positive energies coming your way. That's what I have here for you. Group 2, if it helps you out, let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you recognize this person. Are they already in your life or are you waiting for them to come in? 
they will recognize anyway very gentle person very beautiful energy here and if you're an extension of this reading or anything from my etsy shops the crystals you see my own decks i have created them much more all the links are there if you're new consider subscribing like share this video it helps the channel so much and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching Hi group three, if you choose this beautiful image here, we're gonna get clarification with the tarot, but I'm gonna start with the message on the other side here. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time, nothing is missing. Wow, really an energy here of someone who is already connected with you. And it could be because this is someone that's already in your life and it's not anymore like physically. You are not with this person right now. Maybe this is an ex or someone that passed your life. But it really feels an energy of soulmate energies here. When you have already a connection from another lifetime or they know on the 5D you're meant to be together. You see here, really an energy of someone thinking about you feeling your energy but let's see who is this coming in your life here okay so beloved energy here if you are apart right now spiritually you are always united so either because it's a soulmate in the 5d you connected or twin flame or because this is someone coming back into your life who is this king of coins earth energies taurus virgo capricorn the king of coins many times they want the um a specific goal to achieve here to have a life together and it can be slow sometimes because the coins here earth energies and it can be just one step at a time and can be hard maybe some of you were tired of waiting for them or it was just someone that was focused a lot on their career finances as well because they wanted to build a lot of foundations and maybe work together and uh, i do feel like someone that maybe is coming slowly back into your life or into your life finally because they had to create those foundations first the earth energy is here but again they wanted that subtle energy they wanted to have a home they wanted to have a family this is someone who wants that full house as well ace of cups no doubt open heart here this person is coming offering you you know their heart open their heart here maybe after healing as well healing energies with the ace of cups so some of you someone may be apologizing my guides are saying open heart three of coins they wanted to work things out okay so if this is the next trying to come back into your life someone that maybe worked with you in the past as well okay there's the energy of colleagues work someone introducing you to them that you already know but it's working together working on the relationship showing the effort so really it feels like someone who wants to show you they wanted to be with you you see with the full it really is a new beginning it's either starting from zero or a reset on a connection so for some of you it's going to be a new person yes but for some of you you're going to see more details take what's resonating and you're going to see who's coming to your life for some of you is an ex for some of you it's just someone new but it is a new beginning it's a reset it's a starting from zero starting even from friends as well having to reset all the way to friendship queen of swords and the emperor so air energies uh gemini libra aquarius and the emperor here with aries energies a lot of focus with the emperor many times it's a lot of control as well they're trying to control their maybe they were controlling in the past and they're trying to have a focus here to open the heart to heal to work things out and it feels like someone is going to show you a lot of efforts because it's going to show that they're really focused on you and they're seeing you very beautiful very honest so honestly communication with this person is everything maybe because you wanted to cut away what was not serving in the past because this is someone trying to come back into your life either ex or even someone ex-friend or someone that you didn't have an opportunity to develop a relationship but with the emperor here there's a lot of focus to show you the work and maybe that they are different and they feel like communication is everything for you guys either getting to know this person be honest with them from the beginning is everything ace of swords to see here communication no doubt you will have a, an opportunity to start talking again if this is someone that is not talking at all with you or just getting to know this person really well before jumping in there's really an energy of you know trusting first and being very honest and just showing all your cards and this is it this is who i am this is you know who i have with me or you know this is my life here it, what you see is what you get this is the energy from your side and from their side it's going to be very clear any fog any difficult energies to communicate in the past either with exes or either with past connections that you don't want anymore this is someone coming to your life with a lot of clarity 
honestly very straightforward energies you see with the king of wands as well so it comes really strong energies kings are coming emperor is coming queen of swords so it really feels that fire that passion that focus knowing what they want it's important so it really feels like for some of you is the next trying to come back and show this is the work i'm different i'm changed my heart is open forgiveness but for some of you who is an energy of someone new they really show you the work they show you who they are they are not hiding and it feels like you see that very clearly because they tell you already their goals what they wanted to achieve what they want in life what they want in a relationship this is not someone with any bs it really feels like they are being straightforward because they could have been stuck in the past with things that uh, were not going anywhere and now they wanted to just you know be able to be focused and straightforward okay so this is who i am i want to be with you i want this new beginning with you so really interesting energies again the fire Aries Leo Sagittarius. I wanted to clarify a couple of cards with this one. I wanted to clarify the Three of Coins. The Fool as well. Three of Coins, Chariot. Journey, decisions, doing things together, making a choice here to work together. You see here, open the heart. This is Cancer Science energy as well. And really the journey together depends on you guys working things out together. Maybe because you work on the relationship if there's an ex or because you're working together to see, okay, how can we help each other? How can we avoid the mistakes of the past connections and being able to allow here this new beginning? I wanted to see with the full, full energies here. Four of Cups. I really feel like this energy of having to take a chance after a lot of reevaluation in the life and not wanting to miss an opportunity and maybe they felt like they missed an opportunity with you before and they wanted to reset so for many of you ex trying to come back but even on past connections is a reevaluation of their life and they wanted to restart they wanted a reset here and they want to take a chance with you i wanted to see here on this fire energies here of the emperor and the king of wands and strength you see here emperor no doubt again all the fire signs are coming okay so leo aries and we do have the king of wands here as well so it really feels like a lot of focus fire attraction fire passion in this connection but also that courage to take a leap of faith to try again to try new even after being in difficult connections and it is a lot of fire i want to just see the king of wands in this case and the eight of swords you see here is the energy of focus, especially after being stuck in the past, being stuck in difficult connections, being stuck because you guys were not talking anymore. And is that fire that focus, the courage to try again, either because they're trying again with you, you know, as the next coming back or trying a new connection with you, because this is finally a chance to start a new after difficult connections of the past. So it really feels like they, they realize that they were feeling stuck when they were not stuck. So it's a perspective here and trying a lot of fire a lot of fire here and i wanted to get more cards here from zodiac signs to see but we're going to get charms as well or any other perspective for astrology house nine you see it's spiritual growth no doubt someone who was growing and showing you that they are different from the past they wanted to open their heart here they wanted to show that growth and it could have been through a spiritual journey as well facing shadows healing and there's a lot of that growth here which is positive house nine energies also scorpio energies you see intensity exposing and purging and renewing no doubt the renewal the death and the rebirth because the scorpio with the death card on the on the tarot as well so scorpio energies deep healing deep person deep energy here again that the energy of renewal very intense here after learning lessons okay spiritual growth here no doubt anything else house one individuality self-image and approach to life and this could be the energy of all the fire energies here for the aries for emperor for strength for king of wands to be able to step into their power maybe their power went into someone else's hands maybe their power went into fears and insecurities about relationships in general and they had to work things through grow evolve heal and come change it you know this is someone trying to uh, show that they have changed it to you whether because they're trying to come back into your life or show that they are different from past their own past here also the sextile okay so we do have a combination of tension and flow potential and a 
rewording situation interesting for many of you who this is the next trying to come back it depends this is an opportunity this is who's coming next in love but doesn't mean like you need to accept them right it's up to you it's a decision here for you but it really feels like there's a potential no doubt here but even for you guys if there's someone new coming to your life it's an opportunity because maybe you're letting go of someone in the past or you we don't want to take a chance with someone new here it is a rewarding situation depends of course trust your heart and intuition what you want but i do want to get a couple of extra cards as more details about their characteristics really so you recognize this person we do have an athlete and the dedication to transcend physical limits including handicaps development of personal willpower and strength of spirit again here a growth okay so athlete could be something that they do this could be a sports person this could be on their career on their hobbies but really someone that takes care of the physical as well and transcending limits you know developing learning evolving growing spiritually and physically and a lot of change transformation and companion you see here loyalty tenacity and unselfishness and it feels like this is something that they're going to show you that they are very loyal to you if this was an issue in your past or if there's an issue in your connection really is a change here and also mentor as well pass uh yes passing on wisdom and refining a student's character and this could be again on their career finances or something that they do because this is someone who has learned a lot from hard times on connections on growing up or life in general and it feels like they, again that spiritual growth here helps others too as a mentor being there for others even if it's just a friend giving an advice some people go after them for help for advice because it's someone that really gives that clear vision and a mentor for others again it could be on their career too or something they study and gambler as well willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you you see here they take that uh, you know gambling energy when it comes to like uh, trusting their intuition their gut feeling they trust how they feel not what other people are telling them to do so it really feels like someone who has grown a lot here and um you know taking a chance on themselves taking a chance even on this connection maybe some people are telling them not to and they still wanted to follow the intuition i wanted to just get a couple of extra cards here for uh this one is jumping here just for any other focus on the connection or this person we do have crown chakra again the connection the spiritual connection someone who has grown evolved learned trusting more their intuition the higher self healing crown chakra here also dreams again manifesting a dream together uh renewal here with the full energy jumping in with positivity dreamy and maybe some of you are dreaming about this person as well okay so pay attention to signs through your dreams and this is it feels like a dream come true if you know you give them a chance evolution no doubt evolving growing there's a lot of learning here maybe from their side but also your side too if this is a connection coming back again but even because you're learning from past connections it feels like you are aligning here for a reason and it really feels again with this energy here soulmate energies to inflame energies when you are learning evolving to align your path and also cycles yeah no doubt a cycle here the beginning starting again a new cycle in your life i feel like for all the groups the cycles of the word card came with cycles with the opportunities to start again it really feels like closing a chapter that could have been difficult maybe in the same connection or maybe in previous connections or just being alone or healing or anything you had to do for yourself closing that chapter and is a new cycle this person comes as new energy here for you i wanted to add some charms here as well to give you even more details if you have not seen me use the charms i'm using more often on my videos now more zodiac signs here for you we do have uh, again is it confirming the emperor aries and the uh, virgo energies um, so we do have uh, some initials here so maybe letters so it can be initials can be nicknames can be even your name as well coming here so you do have a b g t z and l and n okay so we do have some numbers too that can be important for you so we do have four maybe birthdays or when you meet when you will meet again when you met in the past uh important dates for you so 4 17 
5 and 21. We do have the sun and the star. So I feel like a lot of hope and positivity after high breaks, after high times. You know, coming back here with, you see the sun again? Double confirmation on the sun. So no doubt coming with that positivity, with the change, with the reset. And this is with uh, commitment as well. Open heart. No doubt open heart here. Really after healing a lot of heart chakra energy, just cutting away what's not serving the past. And music here is the word music. So some of them maybe like music or maybe music is a hobby or maybe they play an instrument. Take what's resonating, leave the rest behind. So I feel like, again, they want foundations, they want a chance, they want opportunities. This is an, an opportunity. It feels like the guides are bringing you to a crossroads with this person. Either you give them a chance uh, or you walk away. You know, again, they, this is what's coming next in love for you. But it doesn't mean like you will accept. It's up to you. You trust your heart, your intuition. What do you want? And it feels like it's a chance here. But again, if you do give a chance, the double confirmation on the sun, happiness and blessings. But it is a reset. It's a starting from zero. And for some of you, even starting at zero as friends again, taking time, taking chances here to evolve, grow and learn from the past. Whether this past was together or with previous connections, it really feels like it's a renewal, a new energy here for you. If you hear anything, I do have my dog, my cat around here, guys. Sorry about that. But really, I feel like it's a positive energy if you give them a chance, if you open your heart too. So it depends if you wanted to allow them back into your life or this person new into your life. It is a renewal in some way, an opportunity for you and double confirmation on the sun. That's what I have here for your group tree. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. Let me know if it does. Take what's resonating. Leave the rest behind. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals you see in front of you, my own decks I have created, and much more. All the links are there. If you do, consider subscribing. Like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely, blessed, and healing day. Thanks for watching.